हेलो एवरीवन आई थिंक माय वॉइस इज क्लियरली ऑडिबल राइट नाउ आप सभी को मेरा आवाज सुनाई दे रहा होगा प्रॉपरली आई थिंक माय वॉइस इज क्लियरली ऑडिबल राइट नाउ एवरीवन आई थिंक माय वॉइस इज क्लियरली चलिए सो थोड़ा सा आगे बढ़ते हैं और चीजों को थोड़ा सा समझने की और सुनने की कोशिश करते हैं मैं आपके सामने क्या बोलने वाला रहूंगा इन लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम और प्रीवियस ईयर न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम इन हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग और ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग now few problems few other problems i will discuss in front of you and this problem is also very very important for each and every gate aspirant which is uh, appear in gate 2023 so my dear friend the another question is related to extra widening this question is related to extra widening now see here what is the problem here the question is the design speed of a two uh, lane road is 80 kmph the design speed is given in the question and the design speed is 80 kmph when a design vehicle with a wheel uh, when a design vehicle with a wheel base is 6.6 meter wheel base is already given in the question and the wheel base is 6.6 meter negotiating a horizontal curve on the road the off tracking measured as 0.096 off tracking is directly given in the question the required widening of carriage way for two lane road so two lane road is given what is the extra widening what is the extra widening this is the main question so my dear friend this question asked in gate 2010 iit guwahati so how to solve this particular problem now see here please Design speed is already given in the question. What is the value of design speed? So design speed is given 80 km per hour. It is the value of design speed. Design speed is already given. Similarly, length of wheel base. Length of wheel base that means small l is given in the question. Small l is become equal to 6.6 meter. Am I right? Small l is already given. So the value of small l is become equal to 6.6 meter. Similarly, off tracking is already given. Off tracking is already given. If I will talk about off tracking, so off tracking is already given. we already know that the value of off tracking is become equal to l square dividing by 2r so the value of off tracking is 0.096 meter the value of off tracking is 0.096 meter it is the value of off tracking we already know that off tracking is become equal to l square upon 2r am i right or wrong the value of off tracking is become equal to l square dividing by 2r we already know that the question is what is the value of extra widening if number of lane is become equal to 2 how many number of lanes are given so number of lanes are given is become equal to 2 now how to solve this particular problem this is a given data so my dear friend we already know that if i will talk about extra widening if i will talk about extra widening so extra widening is just the summation of it is a summation of mechanical extra widening plus psychological extra widening so my dear friend it is the summation of mechanical extra widening plus psychological extra widening so what is the value of mechanical extra widening we already know that mechanical extra widening is become equal to nl square dividing by 2r am i right so if i am interested to calculate mechanical extra widening so the value of mechanical extra widening is become equal to nl square dividing by 2r n l square dividing by 2r l square upon 2r is directly given in the question l square upon 2r is 0.096 and n is become equal to 2 so what is the value 2 multiply by 0.096 it is the value what is the value of mechanical extra widening here so the value of mechanical extra widening 2 multiply by 0.096 the value is become equal to 0.192 meter it is the value of mechanical extra widening but the major issue is how to calculate psychological extra widening we already know that irc give a empirical formula to calculate of psychological extra widening and the formula is v upon 9.5 under root r formula derived in such a way that v directly put is in kilometer per hour am i right or wrong am i totally right so my dear friend if i will talk about psychological extra widening to so psychological extra widening is equal to v upon 9.5 under root r this is the formula v upon 9.5 under root r so my dear friend radius is not given in the question if radius is not given in the question then there will be a there will be a some hint is given what is the hint hint is l square upon 2r that means off tracking is given am i right off tracking value is given so if i will talk about off tracking so off tracking is become equal to l square dividing by 2r what is the value of off tracking so off tracking is 0.096 it is given in the question what is the value of l square 
so if i will talk about value of l square so what is the value of length of wheel base is 6.6 .6 meter so put the value 6.6 .6 square dividing by 2 multiply by radius then what is the value of radius here so if i am interested to calculate the value of radius then 6.6 .6 square dividing by 2 dividing by 0 0.096 so the value is become 226 point 875 meter it is the value of radius this is the value of radius now you put the value of radius in this particular equation formula drive this is the empirical formula for calculation of psychological extra widening formula derived in such a way that we directly put is in kilometer per hour never we multiplied 0.278 in that particular formula in this particular formula never we use 0.278 we directly put is in kilometer per hour clear to all of you please give me answer yes or no if you put v is in kilometer per hour so what is the value value is directly given it is 80 kilometer per hour dividing by 9.5 under root r what is the value of radius so radius is 226.875 meter 226.875 meter then psychological extra widening is become equal to under root 226.875 multiply by 9.5 80 dividing by answer so the value is become equal to 0 0.559 meter it is the psychological extra widening so this is our mechanical extra widening and this is our psychological extra widening now what is the value of total extra widening if i am interested to calculate total extra widening then how to calculate so total extra widening is equal to mechanical plus psychological that means mechanical is 0 0.192 plus psychological is become equal to 0 0.559 then what is the value of extra widening so the value of extra widening is become equal to 0 0.192 plus this so the value is 0 0.751 meter it is the value of total extra widening it's a very easy problem am i right it is the value of total extra widening and total extra widening is become equal to 0 0.751 meter clear to all of you extra widening is become equal to 0 point, 0 0.751 meter so what is the option so option correct is become equal to 0 0.751 meter option c is correct c option is absolutely correct here any problem any doubt related to this particular problem any doubt any problem related to this i think there is no problem question is very easy am i right question is very easy my dear friends don't worry about it pdf is available in our telegram group in my personal telegram group and the telegram group is uh, you can find it uh, the name of telegram group is a uh, engineer ankit jain sir engineer ankit jain sir if you are not able to find telegram group then you directly contact or directly whatsapp about this uh, for this number 9893345123 it's my personal number you can call me or whatsapp me whichever you are comfort so clear to all of you don't worry about it pdf is available in this telegram group it's a group not a channel it's a group not a channel so er dot ankit jain sir it's our telegram it's my telegram group it's my personal telegram group so uh, a pdf is available if uh, you are not able to find telegram group then you are contact me or whatsapp me in this number 9893345123 there is no problem now see here next problem it's a very important problem and very uh, interesting topic and this topic is related to great compensation or compensated grade am i right I think all these students remember easily in live class uh, in live classes uh, in this particular topic I already discussed in deep deep detailed study I will now see what is the question question is question is now what is the beauty now see here while aligning a hill road very interesting question while aligning a hill road with a ruling gradient with a ruling gradient with a ruling gradient of 6% so ruling gradient is already given in the question what is the given here so ruling gradient is already given in the question ruling gradient is become equal to how much percent 
ruling gradient is given in the question and the value of ruling gradient is become equal to 6 percent on a horizontal curve of radius 50 meter it is 50 meter radius 50 meter is given so radius is already given in the question and the value of radius is become equal to how much meter 50 meter is encountered the grade compensation in percentage up to decimal places to be provided for this case would be what is the question what is the value of grade compensation please remember that point what is the value of grade compensation never be calculate compensated grade only grade compensation not for compensated grade now see so how to get calculate grade compensation we already know that if i am interested to calculate grade compensation then how to calculate it so grade compensation is equal to minimum of grade compensation is equal to minimum of 30 plus r upon r percent yeah or 75 upon r percent whichever is minimum these are the two formula whichever is minimum my dear friend now put the value 30 plus what is the value of radius so radius is become equal to 50 meter radius is become equal to 50 meter dividing by 50 what is the value so value is 80 dividing by 50 80 dividing by 50 so the value is become equal to 1.6 percent it is the value if i will talk about 75 upon r so what is the value of radius radius is also 50 then 75 upon 50 is become equal to 1.5 percent so what is the value of grade compensation whichever is minimum it is the value of 1.5 percent this is the correct answer my dear friend if question uh, if uh, if question asked what is the compensated grade actually this question asks grade compensation if question asked what is the compensated grade it is the correct answer eh? question is solved here question solved if question asked compensated grade if question asked compensated grade so how to calculate compensated grade if question asked compensated grade how to calculate compensated grade to so compensated grade is become equal to gradient minus compensated grade is equal to gradient minus grade compensation gradient minus grade compensation so gradient minus grade compensation what is the value of gradient so gradient is already given in the question what is the value of gradient here so gradient is given gradient is given six percent okay so gradient is already given in the question the value of gradient is six percent and what is the value of grade compensation so grade compensation is minus 1.5 percent so the value is become equal to how much it is 4.5 percent it is the value of it is the value of grade uh, sorry compensated grade it is the value of compensated grade am i right if it is asked grade comp uh, compensated grade then you can calculate like this but this question is very simple it is asked only grade compensation not compensated grade clear to all of you now see here next question please how to solve a problem so if i will talk about a next problem problem is a 7.5 meter wide a 7.5 meter wide two lane road a 7.5 meter wide two lane road on a plain terrain on a plain terrain a 7.5 meter wide two lane road on a plain terrain a 7.5 meter road on a, a 7.5 meter wide road on a plain terrain is to be laid along a horizontal curve is to be laid along a horizontal curve of radius 510 meter radius is given in the question what is the value of radius radius is become equal to 510 meter for a design speed of 100 kmph design speed is already given in the question and the value of design speed v is become equal to how much it is 100 kilometer per hour it is given in the question 100 kmph is given in the question so my dear friend super elevation provide as per irc consider acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity 
that means g is already given in the question and the value of g is 9.81 meter per second square the the label difference between the inner and outer edge of the road please remember that point question is the label difference between inner and outer edge of road label difference is the inner and outer edge of road now see here now see here what i say my dear friends please see here properly please see here question is the find out the label difference suppose that i will considering a road like this this is a road this is our inner edge this is our inner edge and this is outer edge of road it is outer edge of road pavement rotate with respect to inner edge if pavement rotate with respect to inner edge then this is the old outer edge label this is new outer edge label it is the new label of outer edge it is new label of outer edge am i right outer edge it is a new label of outer edge so my dear friend my dear friend if this is our inner edge now see this is our inner edge this is our outer edge so outer edge or inner edge label difference i will considering x the question is what is the value of x the main question is what is the value of x the question is what is the value of x theek hai na it is the it is the level of inner edge or it is the level of outer edge then what is the difference between inner edge and outer edge level it is the main task it is the main problem so my dear friend we already know that we already know that slope of this particular triangle slope of this particular triangle is e that means super elevation then how to calculate the value of super elevation the value of super elevation is become equal to f is not given in the question f is not given in the question and actually uh, it is a plain terrain am i right super elevation formula what is the super elevation formula so the value of super elevation e is equal to super elevation provided super elevation provided so it is v square dividing by 225 r it is the formula it is the formula for calculation of super elevation provided if super elevation required or needed will calculate then e plus f is equal to v square upon 127 r this formula is used clear but it is super elevation provided so so the value of v square v square that means 100 square dividing by 254 into r what is the value of radius radius is 510 what is the value of super elevation so the value of super elevation is become equal to 100 square dividing by 254 multiply by 510 so the value is become equal to 0.07 it is less than or equal to e max it is less or equal to e max then there is no problem so e is become equal to 0.07 actually it is equal to e max not less not less it is equal to e max then there is no problem all the things are perfectly correct so it is the value of e max my dear friend if i will providing e is equal to 0.07 if i will applying tan theta acha what is the what, what is the width of road so width of road is given 7.5 meter i think width of road is already given in the question width of road is become 7.5 meter two lane road hai na 7.5 meter is the width of road is already given in the question my dear friend if i am interested to uh, if i will applying tan theta in this triangle then tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular is x or base is 7.5 meter we already know that e is equal to tan theta e uh, what is the value of e so the value of e is 0.07 is equal to x upon 7.5 meter the main question is what is the label difference inner and outer edge that means what is the value of x it is the main it is the major question uh, it is the main question so 7.5 multiply by 0.07 so the value is become equal to 0.525 meter it is the value of x 0.525 meter this is the value of x 
it is the value of x 0.525 meter am i right so this is the level difference between inner edge and outer edge so the value is 0.525 meter this is very interesting question very interesting problem question solved here it is the correct answer all the student are clearly getting my point okay civil engineer all the student are clearly understood all the things there is no problem no issue now please moving to the next problem what is the next problem here so question is the side distance is 120 meter okay the side distance is 120 meter side distance is already given in the question the side distance is 120 meter it is the 120 meter is the side distance is given in the question the height of the driver i okay the height of driver i is 1.5 meter and height of the object is 0 0.15 meter the grade difference of the uh, gradient is 0 0.09 the grade difference is already given the required length of summit parabola curve oh ho, very interesting problem what is the required length of summit parabola curve but this question never be asked length of curve is greater than side distance or length of curve is less than side distance it is not clearly given in this problem length of curve is greater than side distance or length of curve is less than side distance it is not given in the problem then what i do I always be considered, I always be considered length of curve is length of summit curve is greater than side distance. I always be considered length of summit curve is greater than side distance. If length of summit curve is greater than side distance, it is assumed, I assumed, I assumed length of curve is greater than side distance. I don't know my assumption is correct or not. I don't know my assumption is correct or not. Initially, I don't know. Firstly, I assume length of summit curve is greater than side distance because, because in this particular problem, it is not clearly uh, mentioned length of curve is greater than side distance or length of curve is less than side distance. So, I initially, I assume length of summit curve is greater than side distance. If length of summit curve is greater than side distance, then how to calculate length of summit curve? So, the formula of length of summit curve is equal to ns square upon 2 under root of capital H plus under root of small h whole square. Am I right? It is the formula of length of summit curve. My dear friend, what is the value of n? So, n is the n is the grade difference of two, between two gradient. That means 0 0.09 is directly given in the problem. So, put the value 0 0.09 multiply by s. That means side distance. Side distance is already 120 square is given in the question. Dividing by, dividing by, dividing by 2 under root of capital H. What is the value of capital H? So, capital H is 1.5 meter plus what is the value of small h? So, small h is 0 0.15 meter and it is whole square. Then please calculate length of summit curve. Please calculate length of summit curve. What is the length of summit curve here? Anybody else? Please give me answer. What is the length of summit curve? Under root 1.5 plus under root 0 0.15 whole square multiply by 2 0 0.09 multiply by 120 square dividing by answer so the i think value is 249 point something that means 250 meter hi ssv how are you so length of summit curve is become equal to 250 meter so, length of summit curve is become equal to how much meter? 250 meter. Initially, I assumed, initially I assumed length of summit curve is greater than side distance. So, length of summit curve come here 250 meter and side distance is given is 120 meter. Length of summit curve is greater than, uh, uh, length of summit curve is greater than side distance. It is assumed that means this 250 meter is greater than 120 meter that means our assumption is correct our assumption is correct that means our assumption is correct that means our assumption is correct 
So, it is one of the easiest problem, one of the easiest problem my dear friend. Clearly understood all the things. Now, move to the next problem, move to the next problem. Next problem, very very interesting, very very interesting, anybody else? A vehicle travelling, a vehicle travelling, now see here, a vehicle travelling on a dry level pavement at 80 kmph, at 80 kmph speed. Had the brakes applied, the vehicle travelling 76.5 meter before stopping, what is the coefficient of friction that has developed? What is the coefficient of friction that has been developed? Very interesting problem, very very interesting. How to solve this particular problem my dear friend? How to solve it? Anybody else? It is related to stopping side distance, it is related to overtaking side distance, it is related to intermediate side distance, it is related to uh, super elevation, it is related to extra widening, it is related to summit curve, valley curve, <laughs> great compensation. In which topic this relate a problem? This problem related to brake efficiency. This problem related to brake efficiency. This problem related to brake efficiency. Brake efficiency that means, brake efficiency that means, we already know that if I am interested to calculate F obtained, then what is the form formula of F obtained? F obtained we can calculate u square dividing by 2 g l. L is length of skid marks. Length of skid marks that means the vehicle is 76.5 meter traveled before stopping. If driver applying brake after application of brake vehicle traveling 76 76.5 meter and after that it is stopped. It is uh, directly given in the question, 76.5 meter before stopping, before stopping, it is travelled 76.5 meter after application of brake before stopping. Am I right? So, it is length of skid marks. L is directly given in the question. What is the value of L? So, L is directly given in the question and the value of L is become 76.5 meter. My dear friend, my dear friend, level pavement at 80 kmph speed, so speed is already given 80 km per hour. Please remember that thing. This formula is valid only when speed is in meter per second. This formula is valid only when speed is in meter per second if speed given in kilometer per hour. If speed given in kilometer per hour. If speed given in kilometer per hour, then multiplied by 0 0.278. What is the answer, madam? 0 0.33. Okay. So, my dear friend, what is the value of u square? U that means 80. 80 that means 0 0.278 multiplied by 80 whole square. Dividing by. Dividing by. 2, what is the value of G is 9.81, what is the value of capital L is 76.5. If you put the value here, if you put the value here, then you can calculate the value of F obtained and the value of F obtained is 0, but it is not a meter, it is not a meter, it is a coefficient, friction coefficient, it is only 0 0.33, it is unitless, it is unitless. It is not as in meter, it is coefficient of friction, na? it is 0, uh, it is 0 0.33 only. This is a unitless parameter because it is a coefficient. So, meter, no meter, no centimeter, no mm. It is only a 0 0.33 because it is a coefficient. Now, see here please. See here please. This question is always also solved like this. We already know that breaking distance is become equal to. This question is always also solved like this. 
we already know that breaking distance is become equal to v square upon 254 f plus minus s s is not given then you are considering only a small f my dear friend uh, breaking distance is represented by capital L. We already know that. So, if I am interested to calculate the value of F, so F is become equal to V square dividing by 254 multiplied by L. This question is also solved like this. So, what is the value of F? V square. V square, V square, that means 80 square. So, it is 80 square dividing by 254 multiply by capital L. What is the value of capital L my dear friend? Uh, the value of capital L is 76.5 meter. It is the value of capital L. So, the value of capital L is 76.5 meter. What is the value of a small f? Please calculate the value. 80 square dividing by 254 multiply by 76.5. This value is also calculate like this and again the value is same 0 0.33. So, you can use a breaking distance formula, you can use f obtained formula u square dividing by 2gl whichever you are comfort. Clear? So, there are two approaches, there are two methods to solve this particular problem. Now, see next question I will discuss here. What is the question my dear friend? What is the question? Question is, at a horizontal curve portion of a four lane undivided carriage way, at a horizontal curve portion of a four lane undivided carriage way, four lane undivided carriage way, that means number of lane is given in the question, number of lane given that means n is equal to 4. A transition curve is to be introduced. Which curve? Transition curve. A transition curve is to be introduced. A transition curve is to be introduced to attain required super elevation. The design speed is 60 kmph. And radius of curve is 245 kmph. Sorry, 245 meter. Assume length of wheel base on a longer vehicle is 6 meter. Super elevation rate is 5% and rate of introduced super elevation is 1 in 150, but, it is, uh, but there is unnecessary data. The length of transition curve required if the pavement rotate about inner edge, if the pavement rotate about inner edge, if pavement rotate about inner edge, if pavement rotate about inner edge. The length of transition curve, what is the length of transition curve? What is the length of transition curve? What is the length of transition curve in meter required if the pavement rotate about in a range? How to solve this problem? Anybody else? How to solve this problem? Anybody else? Please give me answer. Now see n is equal to 4 is given, speed of vehicle is given, design speed is given 60 km per hour. Similarly, radius of curve is given 245 meter. Assume length of wheel base small l is given and the value of small l is 6 meter. Super elevation uh, rate is already given, it is 5%, that means E is equal to 5%, 5% that means 0 0.05 I think, okay. And, uh, and, and length of transition curve calculate, okay, calculate length of transition curve if pavement rotate about inner edge, it is a very important statement if pavement rotate about inner edge. How to solve a problem here? My dear friend. We already know that length of transition curve, length of transition curve is the maximum of three criteria. The criteria number one is length of transition curve on the basis of rate of change of centrifugal acceleration. So, the first formula is length of transition curve is become equal to VQ upon CR, VQ upon CR. C that means, C that means centrifugal acceleration, if C is not given in the question, then we can calculate the value of C 80 dividing by 75 plus V. Am I right? This is the formula. 
using this particular formula we can calculate the value of c and the unit of c is meter per second cube c is c is centrifugal acceleration rate of change of centrifugal acceleration it is c and the value is and the, sorry it's a rate uh, it's a only uh, it is rate of change of centrifugal acceleration so my dear friend it is this unit is meter per second cube already know that my dear friend formula derived in such a way that this particular formula it is an empirical formula and it is derived in such a way that we directly put is in kilometer per hour so if i will talk about 80 dividing by 75 plus v and what is the speed of vehicle so speed of vehicle is become equal to 60 what is the value of c now please calculate the value of c here yes this value lies between 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 it is uh, <coughs> absolutely correct 80 dividing by 75 plus 60 so the value is 0 0.6 meter per second q remember this point it is 0 0.6 meter per second q is the unit not meter per second square meter per second q is the unit so if uh, the value of c is 0 0.6 meter per second q now put the value here and get the length of transition curve in first case so length of transition curve is become equal to vq v 0 0.278 because v is in kilometer per hour is given so 0 0.278 multiply by 60 whole cube dividing by cr what is the value of c so the value of c is 0 0.6 multiply by what is the value of radius so radius is become equal to 245 meter then what is the correct value what is the correct value my dear friend so the value is become equal to but uh, what is the value 0 0.278 multiply by 60 whole cube dividing by 0 0.6 multiply by 245 so the value is become equal to 31.56 meter it is the value 31.56 meter am i right so the value is the value is become equal to length of transition curve is become equal to 31.56 meter it is length of transition curve this is the value of length of transition curve 31.56 meter this is the first criteria this is the first criteria if i will talk about if i will talk about second criteria then what is the second criteria here my dear friend if i will talk about second criteria so if i will talk about in front of you a second criteria if i will talk about second criteria so what is the second criteria here criteria number second so criteria number second is criteria number second is length of transition curve on the basis of introduced super elevation so in this particular problem it is clearly state that pavement rotate with respect to pavement rotate with respect to inner edge if pavement rotate with uh, and plane terrain is directly given then length of transition curve is become equal to 150 into x we already know that if pavement rotate with respect to inner edge so it is our uh, it is our road this is our inner edge this is our outer edge and if pavement rotate with respect to inner edge this is the value of x and this is width of road and width of road is become equal to w plus w e we already know that because it is a curve portion in curve portion total width of road is w plus w e am i right total width of road is become equal to w plus w e so and this is uh, slope of this this slope is become e that means super elevation w e is the extra widening what is the value of extra widening and what is the value of width of road the first thing is that so if i am interested to calculate if i am interested to calculate extra widening what is the value of extra uh, extra widening so extra widening is become equal to mechanical plus psychological that means n l square dividing by 2 r plus v upon 9.5 under root r 
plus V upon 9.5 under root R. This is the formula. Now you put the value. So what is the value of N? Number of lane is 4. What is the value of L square? That means 6 is square dividing by 2 R. So what is the value of radius? So radius has become equal to 245 meter plus V upon 9.5 under root R. So V is 60 dividing by 9.5 under root R. So the value of radius is 245 meter. What is the value of extra widening? What is the value of extra widening? 9.5 multiply by 245. 60 dividing by answer plus 4 multiply by 36 dividing by 2 multiply by 245. So the value is become 0 0.697 meter. It is the value of extra widening. Am I right? This is the value of extra widening my dear friend. It is the value of extra widening. Extra widening is given. Okay, na? This is the value of extra widening. So, uh, if it is the value of extra widening, it is the value of extra widening, then what is the width of road? We already know that for multiple number of lane, width of road is n multiplied by 3.5 meter. This is the formula. So, n multiplied by 3.5 meter, what is the number of lane? Is 4 multiplied by 3.5. So, the value of width of road is become 14 meter. Width of road is become 14 meter. So, this is width of road and this is our extra widening. Now you put the, for, uh, now you put the, uh, if you are interested to calculate the value of x, then what is the value? If you are interested to calculate the value of x, then what is the value? So we already know that E is equal to 10 theta. We already know that E is equal to 10 theta and 10 theta is perpendicular upon base and base is W plus W E. Am I right? Base is W plus W E. So E is already given in the question. E is 0 0.05 is equal to x x upon w plus w e. So the value of w, the value of w is become equal to just a bit. The value of w is become equal to 14 meter, and the value of extra widening is 0 0.697 meter. What is the value of x? What is the value of x? x is the difference between label difference between inner edge or outer edge x is not a bevafa please, please clearly understood that point x is the difference label difference between inner and outer edge x is not a bevafa am i right now see so what is the value of x so x is 14.697 multiply by 0 0.05 so what is the value of x 0 0.734 okay x is 0 0.734 meter so the value of x is 0 0.734 meter then what is the formula of length of transition curve 150 into x so length of transition curve on the basis of introduced super elevation 150 into x and x is not a bevafa the value of x is 0 0.734 meter then what is the value of length of transition curve 150 multiply by this multiply by 110.22 meter it is the length of transition curve it is the length of transition curve on the basis of introduced super elevation on the basis of introduced super elevation my dear friend it is second criteria now what is the third criteria third criteria is if i will talk about third criteria then third criteria is length of transition curve on the basis of uh, on the basis of empirical formula given by irc some empirical formulas given by irc for calculation of length of transition curve then what is the formula for plain terrain the formula of plane terrain is become equal to length of transition curve is become equal to 2.7 v square upon r formula derived in such a way that speed is directly put is in kilometer prati ghanta am i right formula derived in such a way that my dear friend my dear friend if i am interested to calculate length of transition curve in third criteria so 2.7 multiply by v square v square what is the value of v square what is the value of speed? Speed is 60 kmps. That means 60 square dividing by what is the value of radius? Sorry, sorry. Yes, radius is 245 meter. Then length of transition curve is become equal to. Then length of transition curve is become equal to. What is the value? 2.7 multiplied by 60 square dividing by 245 is become equal to 39.67 meter. 
the value is 39.67 meter it is length of transition curve 39.67 meter this is length of transition curve clear to all of you so if i am interested to calculate length of transition curve then length of transition curve is become equal to then length of transition curve is become equal to length of transition curve is become equal to maximum of length of transition curve is become equal to maximum of above criteria yani uh, if i will talk about criteria number 1 and what is the length of transition curve so length of transition curve i think 31 point something something meter the value is 31.56 meter okay so length of transition curve in uh, first criteria 31.56 meter it is the value 31.56 meter uh, as per second criteria 110.22 meter and as per third criteria length of transition curve is 39.67 meter the value of 39.67 meter am i right whichever is maximum whichever is maximum so the value is 110.22 meter so length of transition curve the final answer is become 110.22 meter it is the our final answer this is our final answer 110.22 meter it is our final answer clear to all of you so a very important statement is there now i will discuss in front of you a next problem i will discuss in front of you a next problem which is very very important for us now next problem is next problem it's a link problem or link data type problem <sighs> question is a horizontal circular curve with a center line radius of 200 meter center line radius is directly given and the center line radius is become 200 meter is provided on a two lane two way road is provided on a two lane two way state highway the width of two lane road is 7 meter the width of two lane road is 7 meter design speed of this section is 80 km per hour the brake reaction time is 2.4 second and the coefficient of friction in longitudinal and lateral direction is 0.355 and 0.15 respectively the safe stopping side distance on the section the first question is calculate safe stopping side distance and the another question setback distance from the center line of inner lane is another question is calculate setback distance from center line of inner lane is so this is link type problem am i right this is link type problem if i am interested to calculate stopping side distance then what is the formula we already know that stopping side distance is become equal to leg distance plus braking distance two lane two way that means only formula is sufficient to calculate stopping side distance here stopping side distance is the summation of leg distance plus braking distance the value of leg distance is 0.278 v multiplied by reaction time tr plus plus breaking a uh, breaking distance is become equal to v square dividing by 254 f plus minus s 254 f plus minus s am i right f plus minus s so s is become equal to shun s is become equal to shun now you put the value if you put the value here that means 0.278 multiply by speed so the value of speed is given in the question 80 kmph multiply by reaction time is 2.4 second plus v square v square that means 80 square dividing by 254 multiply by small f and the value of small f is become equal to the value of small f is become equal to 0.355 what is the value of stopping side distance so the value of stopping side distance is become equal to 125 meter very good so the value of stopping side distance is become equal to 125 meter it is the value of stopping side distance that means first question is solved c option is correct 
first question is solved c option is correct am i right the another question is the another question is the setback distance from the center line of inner lane what is the value of setback distance from center line of inner lane so if i am interested to calculate setback distance from center line of inner lane so center line of inner lane setback distance we can calculate here setback what is the formula of setback distance we consider uh, uh, we assume that length of curve is greater than side distance if length of curve is greater than side distance if length of curve is greater than side distance then formula is become equal to m is equal to r minus r minus d cos alpha by 2 this is the formula this is the formula how to calculate the value of small d so the value of small d is become equal to we already know that the value of small d is become equal to w plus w e dividing by 4 w plus w e dividing by 4 my dear friend what is the value of w so width of road 7 meters directly given but extra widening is not given in the question if i am interested to calculate the value of extra widening then we can apply the formula nl square dividing by 2r plus v upon 9.5 under root r so l is not given if l is not given then i am not able to understand any uh, i i am not i am not able to adopt any data i am not able because it is a gate exam if it is a ese exam or any other conventional exam then i directly consider l is become equal to 6 meter but in gate exam never be assumed any data never be assumed so in this case i never be uh, i am not calculate the value of extra widening 7 upon 4 what is the value of d so 7 upon 4 is become equal to the value is 1.75 meter it is the value of small d the value of small d is 1.75 meter my dear friend if value of small d is 1.75 meter then what is the value of alpha by 2 so alpha by 2 is become equal to 180 multiply by s dividing by 2 pi r minus d it is the formula now you put the value 180 multiply by s what is the value of s what is the value of stopping side distance so stopping side distance is 125 meter dividing by 2 pi r minus d what is the value of radius so radius is already given na radius is already given i think just a wait please what is the value of radius is given so radius is already given in the question and the value of radius is become equal to um, a circular curve with a center line radius 200 meter okay so the value is 200 meter is given radius 200 meter is given 200 multi minus small d small d is 1.75 meter now you can calculate what is the value of alpha by 2 please give me answer What is the value of alpha by two? Please give me answer. Anybody else? So one eighty multiplied by one twenty five, dividing by two multiplied by pi, dividing by two hundred minus one point seven five. So the value is become equal to eighteen point zero six. I think if I am correct, eighteen point zero six the value of alpha by two. It is the value eighteen point zero six. Okay. Now you put the value here. So setback distance is become equal to r. That means two hundred minus two hundred minus eighteen point. Sorry, two hundred minus d. That means one point seven five. The value of d is one point seven five multiplied by cos alpha by two. That means cos eighteen point zero six. It is the value, my dear friend. If I am interested to calculate setback distance, what is the value? So the value is become cos eighteen point zero six multiplied by two hundred minus one point seven five. Two hundred minus answer. So the value is eleven point five one meter. Please remember that point. This value of m is a setback distance from center line of the road. it is the value of setback distance from center line of the road but in this question the center line of the inner lane it is setback distance from center line of road this is setback distance from center line of road 
it is setback distance from center line of road setback distance from center line of road if i am interested to calculate setback distance from center line of inner lane setback distance from center line of inner lane setback distance from center line of inner lane we already know that if i am interested to calculate setback distance from center line of inner lane so the formula is m minus small d if it is asked center line of outer lane then m plus d am i right so m minus d so what is the value of m m is 11.51 minus 1.75 then what is the correct value please give me answer 11.51 minus 1.75 so the value is 9.77 meter the value is 9.77 meter so what is the correct option option d is correct 9.77 meter option d is correct clear so this is the solution this is the solution it is very interesting problem one of the interesting problem now move to the next problem move to the next problem please next problem is very interesting my dear friend next problem is also very interesting it is last problem for today class now see for a for a portion of national highway where a descending gradient is one in descending gradient yaad rakhiye descending gradient where a descending gradient is one in 25 descending gradient is one in 25 meet with an ascending gradient meet with in ascending gradient of 1 in 20 please read carefully descending gradient 1 in 25 meet in ascending gradient 1 in 20 a valley curve need to be designed for a vehicle traveling at 90 kmph speed vehicle traveling at 90 kmph speed on the following conditions condition is already given in the question condition is already given in the question my dear friend now see headlight side distance equal to stopping side distance and a level terrain considered length of valley curve is greater than side distance it is a very 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 important information which is given length of valley curve is greater than side distance headlight side distance equal to that means hsd is equal to ssd we can consider hsd is equal to ssd and length of valley curve is greater than side distance these two things is already given in the question we can use this we can use this next comfort condition with allowable change of centrifugal acceleration is 0.5 meter per second q is given that means c is already given c is already given assume total reaction time is 2.5 second that means tr reaction time is given 2.5 second coefficient of longitudinal friction of the pavement is 0.35 is given height of headlight that means small h is 0.75 meter is given beam angle it's not a tan beam angle is 1 degree is given it's not a tan it's 1 degree beam angle 1 degree is given 1 degree is the beam angle is given beam angle that means value of beta beta value is already given the first question is what is the length of valley curve in meter based on headlight side distance condition we already know that if length of valley curve is greater than headlight side distance then the formula is ns square dividing by 2h plus 2s tan beta am i right h is already given we can find the value of n because descending gradient and ascending gradient slope is directly given 
Now, how to calculate this question? How to solve this particular problem? Now, see here. If I am interested to calculate, if I am interested to calculate, if I am interested to calculate length of valley curve, so the length of valley curve is become equal to n s square dividing by 2h plus 2s 10 beta. It is the value. What is the value of n? So we already know that, we already know that and descending gradient, descending gradient that means minus 1 in 25 meet an ascending gradient that means again minus 1 in 20. So what is the value of n? What is the value of n? So the value of n is 1 in 25 and 1 in 20. I think value is 0 0.09. Am I correct? 0.09 it is the value of n this value of n is given a small h already given 0.75 s is already uh, uh, s s s s what is the value of s the national highway and uh, okay so if i am interested to calculate the value of s side distance uh, how to calculate side distance 0.278 v multiply by tr what is the value of speed speed already given in the question the value of speed is 90 kmph multiply by reaction time is 2.5 second plus v square what is the value of v square my dear friend what is the value of v square so v square that means 90 square dividing by 254 what is the value of f is 0.35 is directly given 254 multiply by f is 0.35 is directly given you can calculate the value of stopping side distance what is the value so the value is 90 square dividing by 254 multiply by 0 0.35 plus 0 0.278 multiply by 90 multiply by 2.5. So the value is 153.66 meter. It is the value of stopping side distance. This is the value of stopping side distance and the value of stopping side distance is 153.66 meter. It is the value 153.66 meter. Clear to all? It is the value of 153.66 meter. This is the value for stopping side distance. Okay. So, stopping side distance is already uh, calculated. So, what is the value of n? 0 0.09 multiplied by 153.66 whole square dividing by 2h, h that means 0 0.75 plus 2s 10 beta that means the value of 2 multiply by s that means 153.66 multiply by 10 beta, beta is already given in the question it is become equal to 1 degree. Now calculate the value of length of valley curve on the basis of headlight side distance. 2 multiply by 153.33 multiply by 10 1 degree plus 1.5 0 0.09 multiply by 153.66 square dividing by answer. So, the value is 310 point something meter. Yes, 310 are correct. Now, my, my, my value is 310 meter. It is the first question answer. It is the answer for first question. If I am interested to calculate answer for second question. So, what is the answer for second question? So, what is the length of valley curve for comfort condition? The formula is 2 multiply by under root of n v cube upon c. It is the formula. 2 multiply by what is the value of n? 0 0.09 multiply by v q. 0 0.278 multiply by what is the value of v? v that means 90 whole cube dividing by c. What is the value of c? So, c is 0 0.5 is given in the question. What is the value of length of valley curve for comfort condition? This is the formula is correct or not? 2 multiply by under root n v q upon c. It is the formula. Now, what is the correct value? Please give me an answer. What is the correct value? Please give me an answer. What is the correct value? 
so the value is 0.278 multiply by 90 whole cube multiply by 0.09 dividing by 0.5 under root multiply by 2 sorry multiply by 2 so the value is 106.19 meter it is the value it is the value am i right so this is the correct value and this is the correct answer this formula is correct or not mm, just a wait please this formula is correct or not it is correct or not so the formula just a wait Yes, formula is totally correct. I think 2 multiply by n b cube by c. Okay, okay. So, these are the some problems. Now, we will meet in next class tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Gate Academy Global Channel. Thank you so much for this class and good night to all of you. This PDF is provided my telegram channel, Engineer Ankit Jain sir. You can join us or you can join this if channel uh, you are not able to find the channel uh, group you are not able to find the group so then please contact me 9893345123 is my contact number thank you so much for this class thanks everyone